Now this story concerned me because it looks like Apple is beginning to push some of their top developers into a subscription model as opposed to having those developers sell their apps on their app store. Uh, this means more money for Apple, of course, because they get a cut of those subscription fees. Uh, but they're saying to the developers, like, hey, this is a more sustainable way of uh, making your business work because you'll have predictable monthly income coming in as opposed to having to rely on uh, individual sales. And of course, this might be better for developers and better for Apple, but I don't think it's better for customers. And hopefully customers will uh, vote with their wallets on this. Now, when I left my day job, I also lost my Creative Cloud subscription because it was part of my job. And I couldn't justify spending all that much money a month to use Photoshop. I do some stuff in Photoshop, nothing terribly advanced. And I found an alternative that was $30 one time called Pixelmator. It's a great app. It does everything I was doing in Photoshop. And I don't have to pay uh, 50 or 60 bucks a month or whatever they charge you for Creative Cloud now to be able to have access to that app. And the best thing is, is that uh, I have no ongoing expense here. And the app is essentially mine to use forever. Uh, unlike a subscription model where you could be paying a developer $100, $150 over the course of two years, and the second you want to stop paying, you have no longer any access to the app that you've been paying for. And that really concerns me because I feel like you know, the developer should have some skin in this game in that uh, if they want us to keep paying the money, make the applications better, add new features. And if you've developed an app to its uh, pinnacle of its potential, then move on and create something else and new that people might want to buy. It's kind of a standard way to sell things is you make your product better, get more money for that better product through upgrades or whatever, and then once it's done, it's done and you move on to the next thing. And what uh, the Pixelmator team is doing is they kind of realize that this app can only go so far, so they developed a new version called Pixelmator Pro for $60. This is what it costs. Uh, I don't think there's any upgrade uh, incentive from the old version, but that's fine. If it's that much better and I have, it has something that I really need, then I'll pay for it uh, so I can get access to those features. And what's cool about what these folks are doing is that they're still offering the original app as well. Uh, so you have the choice. You can use this one, which is kind of no longer being updated. It's being uh, you know, patched when necessary for different compatibility things, but they are really billing this one as the future of the company, and they're giving customers the choice as to what they want to use. And uh, to me, that's just a better model. I really am getting sick of a subscription for this, a subscription for that. We're going to have to have like five different streaming services soon. It's getting to the point where everybody's just going to be taking money out of our wallets, including the cable company and the phone companies here, uh, as opposed to actually delivering value. And I have really not seen a subscription piece of software, maybe with the exception of Adobe that has a huge team behind it, uh, there, there really isn't as much risk for the developers. And I'm not seeing the kinds of big feature releases that uh, I have been seeing on uh, paid apps. So I don't think this is very good for the industry overall. And it kind of puts us in this stasis field where everybody's just comfortable and not really doing anything new with their products. So we'll have to see how this develops, but it looks like you're going to be seeing a lot more subscription-based apps on your Apple devices. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.